Drowning in the UK accounts for more accidental deaths annually than fire in the home, which is why the Chief Fire Officers Association has joined forces with other organisations in a bid to halve the number of people who drown. Robin Ross reports. James was studying to become a primary school teacher, but aged just 19 years old, he became separated from friends after a night out. He lost his balance, fell into the Thames and drowned. People don't realise how quickly their life can be snuffed out. And particularly with drowning, it is a very quick uh, cold water shock, especially mixed with alcohol, will we'll kill young, fit young people who can swim. James was a very strong swimmer, ironically. Each year, around 400 people drown accidentally in the sea, rivers and canals. That's one person every 20 hours. It's pretty rough here on the south coast. You wouldn't even dream of entering the sea. But the reality is, in almost half of drowning cases, the person left their home that very morning with absolutely no intention of entering the water. The wind can be fairly calm, blowing along, and then you'll suddenly get a big gust. You might not have any intentions of entering the water, but for some reason you've then got to enter the water to rescue your dog or your hat or your coat, or even your child might suddenly decide to run off. To stop these needless deaths, the UK's first national drowning prevention strategy has been created by the National Water Safety Forum. It brings together the Chief Fire Officers Association and other organisations such as the RNLI, Canal and Rivers Trust, RLSS and ROSPA. The aim? To reduce drowning in the UK by 50% by 2026. Fire and rescue services all over the UK have a statutory duty. It's called the Integrated Risk Management Plan. The fire and rescue service in the UK are required to assess what the risk is in their area and to make appropriate provision, whether that's about responding or preventing accidents occurring in the first place. Response is not enough. We learnt that in the experience of dealing with fires in the UK. What we need to do is prevention work. Drowning in the UK accounts for more accidental deaths annually than fire in the home or cycling deaths on the road, which is why the fire service is making it one of its priorities. Hey, don't worry, sir. I'm going to be with you in just a moment and we'll bring you back to safety. East Sussex firefighters are carrying out water rescue training exercises. Fire crew are trained to different levels, to help from the shore, guiding and throwing lines, or at level three, to do a tethered swim to reach people and to rescue by boat in fast-flowing water. It's important that they do maintain their skills in this. People think that it's quite easy to actually throw a line. You'll be surprised just how difficult it can be, especially on a windy day like today. Most people don't understand the role of the fire service in water rescue and prevention. It deals mainly with inland incidents, but is also a key player on the coast. The most important thing to do is to alert the Coast Guard agency straight away, but also think about the fire service. Our reaction times are very quick. We could locate the casualty in the sea and point that out to the lifeboat and speak to them directly to tell them where the casualty is located out to sea. With nearly half of children aged between 7 and 11 unable to swim 25 metres, fire services regularly visit schools to encourage pupils to stay safe whilst enjoying the water. They actually had a bucket of ice water. People were asked to put their hands in the water, uh, keep it in there for a couple of minutes, take them out, then asked to do up their shoelaces, just to show that you lose that dexterity when you become cold and the body starts to close down. James's story is now in pint glasses to educate others. Andrea has successfully campaigned to make the area where he died safer and she's also written a book about bereavement. If you can get joy back into your life again and hold the memories of what that person was. I'd rather have had James for 19, nearly 20 years and lost him than not had him at all. Of course, the water is there to be enjoyed, but you need a lot of experience to take a dip in the sea when it's like this. I feel safe out there because I've surfed here a long time. I've studied the ocean before I go in. Go out, go out with a friend of mine as well. We look out for each other. Cuts down the risk factor. Andrea campaigns hard to stop James's death being repeated. It helps to know the fire service and other organisations are fighting the same fight. It's like one stick in a bundle is a weak little thing, but if you clasp a bunch together, you've got something strong.